Alright there, procrastinauts, my name's Paborian, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Last time we were here, we did the Fostock 1 mission, sent a Kerbal into orbit around the planet Kerbin. It was fun. It was fun indeed. We probably could have done the second mission as well, but we didn't actually do that because I'm an idiot. I would also like to apologise in advance as well for the lack of Kerbal being going up over the past week. The reason for this... And I believe we've been told we can actually say this, so this is okay. This is a bit of uh, first-hand news. Uh, about a week and a bit ago, we were told in the media group that we would be getting uh, advanced previews of version 21 to record and show you guys. Unfortunately, this hasn't happened yet, so I'm just going to continue the series as normal until these X builds get given to us. But when that happens, you guys should get a very exclusive first look at version 21. I can't wait for that. I would also like to thank the guys who turned up for the uh, live stream that I did last week, the really impromptu live stream. All 23 of you who turned up. Thanks very much, guys. It was fun. Let's carry on with this game and get straight in there. Alright, where are we today? So let's go for default. I'm not doing space racing. I ain't doing B9 stuff today. Good times! Good times! Yeah, you'll, you'll know about all that stuff if you watch the live stream. If not, you can go and click on the link in the description. That'll take you to the Twitch channel and let you watch the videos that I've already de done on Twitch. So yeah, don't forget to go check those out, people. Don't forget to hit follow as well. Um, what are we doing today is the key question. Let's have a look. We've got plenty of cash. Um, let's see if we turn it off and save changes and close and select the mission package of choice. Let's see, where are we up to? Um, Cabalo 2 or Vostok 2. Now, I believe... I. I don't know if I do have a Cabalo 2 capable craft of reaching curb and escape. I really don't think I do. Let's let's just go have a look at see what we got in there. It's been like a week since I played this, so I can't remember what craft I've actually got. Hopefully we've got one that is good enough for Cabalo 2. Uh, let's have a look. What's this one? Ah, yes, of course. This thing. Right, okay, so you know what? Let's go do Cabolo 2 and we'll try and see if we can get ourselves into orbit with this thing. There's a good chance that we might not be able to get the end, uh, the lower stage back to recover it, but never mind, eh? Alright, yeah, go on, give me this stock and give me Cabolo 2. Let's tackle this today! Select mission! Launch! Now, as far as I remember, I believe I've tested this out. I think I've tested this out and it should be a working contraption. He says he hopes. Oh well, never mind eh. Let's get ourselves up and we should be on the right kind of angle to start doing an interplanetary burn. So on a count of five, four, three, two, one. Ignition this crap up. Wee. Right, I probably should have checked as well all my stages, but I did not. Okay, you, you got yourself a sass, hold yourself there, pal. I still don't know why it's rotating. Yeah, to this day I still don't know why things tend to have a tendency to rotate when the sass is on. I do kind of believe it's the SRBs, but I've got no way of actually proving that. I've, I, I've, it usually happens on SRBs. Not again, saying that, thinking back, I've actually had this problem on rockets as well. Right, screw it, let's do some gravity turns, see what we can do to sort this out. Keep the G's nice and low. Hopefully we can uh, do a nice fat gravity turn here without causing too much issues. Right, okay. Let's thrust all the way up. Let's see if I can actually start turning this around. We are getting up quite high here. Really high indeed. So I need to start bringing this low and hopefully we're not going to lose this on the way down. Uh, ideally what I want to be doing is I want to be using this big tank for as much of an orbital ascent stage as I can. Keep dragging it down, keep dragging it down. You're doing pretty damn well here, actually. Right. If you can hold it there and bring the prograde marker down to us a little bit, we should be able to uh, turn it a bit flat without it going all higgledy piggledy sort of thing. Alright. Oh, hold it, hold it. Oh man, this is a big rocket. <laughs> This is probably the biggest one I've ever sent up, but then again, this is going into the sun escape, so it does need as much oomph as I can give it, to tell you the truth. Okay, keep going down, keep going down, keep slowly doing this gravity turn, keeping the thing under control. Ah, orbit, we've reached orbit, so let's see if we can reach orbital velocity speed with this lower stage. We've got under half of a tank of fuel left, so that should be okay, you know, if I can keep myself... 
here, I, be I believe that should be more than enough for escape velocity. At least he hopes. He says. Excuse me, I just had a bit of a burp down the microphone, and that's never good, is it? Rude. Right. Orbital speeds are picking up. But ideally, what I'm looking at here is getting myself up, up to much higher speeds than this. Ideally, as well, I need to. Um, oh god, what is it now? I, I also need to bring back this stage. But to do such things is going to be incredibly hard, really hard, in fact. In fact, I don't know if it's even going to be possible to bring the lower stage in. Nah, it should work. Should do, I think, anyway. I bet it was two seconds, I think I've just been summoned for the phone again. No, no, just me imagining things. Here we go again. Uh, we have reached a pretty good height here. Alright, okay. Let's uh, eject this stage. Uh, turn the sass off so it starts doing that. And boom! From here on out, this should be no problem trying to get into orbit. I hope anyway, let's have a look, we're going at 66,000, perhaps maybe I can actually speed this up a little bit now as well, without it causing too many issues. There we go, that seems perfect, seems good enough. Let's see how high I can actually get this thing, and let's see if we can actually recover the other stage. That looks good, 150,000, and then what we'll do is we'll continue to burn out the apoapsis once we've done with this stage here. I honestly do not think it's going to make it, so we're going to switch to, and we're going to see how this goes. Ideally, what we want to be doing now is moving down to retrograde, what's it called, angles, and then begin ready for the re-entry business. That's not the retrograde. Whoop. There we go, that should be okay. Hopefully there won't be too many G-forces being extended on the craft as we go down and back into the atmosphere. In fact, this probably is going to burn up and it's not going to be much fun either, just because. Oh, I need to fucking hurry up with this as well before this bit. Oh no, here we are, we're starting to rotate. Oh no, there's nothing I can do about this. Right, here we are, we're starting to pick up. Uh, surface speed is slowing down, but I, uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. The parachutes are just wanted to. Yeah, parachutes are gone. Do a little. Let's rotate and see if we can not keep this under control. Parachutes are. Hit. Nope, there we are. We're done. Right, end the flight. That thing's not coming back in one piece. So back over to the thing. Damn it, we just lost a lot of cash then. Orbiting carbon! Oh man, I can't believe that. That was rubbish. Alright, here we go. Let's try this one again. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we should have RTGs powering this bad boy. I hope I've got RTGs powering this bad boy. It's a bit hard to tell. Yeah, I think we do for the simple fact that we're up to like five units of power and we're still going strong. So, alright, let's get to the AP. Uh, get to this here. Guess that's a bit of turning power. Use the thrusters. I should include that mod for directional thrust control. That should help me out quite a bit, actually. Oh. Hold it there, mate. There we go. That's what we're after. So that should now. Actually, if I leave it there, that'll give us a bit of an oberth effect, I think, as well. So ideally, now what we have to do is get ourselves to such an angle that we can now just go straight out of the system and we're going to require a lot of power to do such things. <sighs> uh, keep on going man, keep on going. Ideally what I need is a slingshot around a planet of some variety. Perhaps maybe if I go here, that will kick me out a bit harder. Ah oh, yes, there we go, that's exactly what we want. So um, for that we need to burn for approximately six minutes. Oh wow, that's a long time. That's a long time indeed. Uh, what have we got underneath here? The Caballo itself, right. Toggle that so we can get some communications on. Question is, do I actually have the right parts for this thing? We do, yes, right, okay. <laughs> I had a bit of a moment there, I was like, oh no! 
God damn Caballo. All right, here we go. So that should be the position. We'll get six minutes and we'll start burning away and see what we can do to actually reach Sun Escape. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six. Here we go. So get ready. Well, we're going to be using this uh, Oberth effect quite a bit here. So let's thrust all the way up we can go and hold the sass on. And let's see if we can get some time warp on to help us out. This has got to go about... There we go. About that. I don't speed up any faster. I really don't. Estimated burn time. I think we've got more than enough fuel to do actually do this, you know. Use that Oberth effect to your advantage, man. It's only a slight Oberth effect advantage, but never mind, eh? Um, this should also provide me with a little bit of extra kick, I think, as well. Simply because uh, we've actually got a little engine on the probe itself. Complete with all the gear required to do some experiments in space. Well, not experiments in space. Take some readings, some scientific readings of gravity forces and such. I tell you what, this is going to take a lot quicker than 44 years, I think it is. Is it 40 odd years, 50 odd years that the Voyager has taken to reach the outside of our solar system? And it's not quite there yet, I don't think, as far as I'm aware. It's on the edge, but it's not quite there. Okay, according to this, we're going at some really incredible angles here. So what is the lowest point here? 93. Good times, good times indeed. So. While that thing's consistently building out. Ah, we're going out past Drez now, actually. It won't surprise me if we actually get an intercept on uh, Juno at some point. How are we doing on fuel? Pretty good, actually. I'm hoping that we don't have to go into our uh, probe tank, to tell you the truth. It'd be cool if we didn't, but we might have to. Self held there. We've got approximately one minute of burn to go because obviously I've got some two times speed. Oh, we're reaching out past Jewel. Good times. In fact, I probably could get an instant around Jewel at some point. Come on, the fuel's getting lower and lower. Keep on going. Doing this. Oh, damn it, I didn't speed up time again. I slowed down time. Damn it. Keep on going. You're almost there, pal. Go in. Oh, we're going. God damn it, man. We're still going. Yes, we've done it. We've reached some escape. Keep on going. Burn every single bit of fuel you have. I'm going to burn every last little bit of fuel we've got. Some escape. Here we go. Okay, now that's done. We're going to slow down time. And we're going to send off the, uh, the probe on its own little mission. Oh wow, that came out a bit hard, that did. Alright, here we go. Let's get out to a bit of sun. Yay! Alright, we're ready. We're done. Toggle. Toggle, and definitely toggle. Alright, so we have one Voyager style probe. That's pretty damn nice, if I do say so myself. It'll be your job to check out the outer reaches of the Kerb the Kerbal system, should I say. Oh yes, can't go wrong. Can't go wrong indeed, look at that. And it's got enough power to last it FOREVER! Trick is, what's all this then? Oh, oh, that's me other stuff. I was wondering what that was then. Caballo 1. Currently on an orbit around the place. I wonder if that'll ever come back to Kerbin. Oh well, never mind, eh? We've done it, ladies and gents. Where's our mission controller? Uh, we need to get into the sun Kerbin orbit, so we need to travel out a little bit. Farewell, Kerbin. It was nice knowing you. 
Right, let's get out. Yeah, there we go. This cost us 60k to do. Hide, finish, goal, and we can complete the mission. Finish the mission, yes! Alright, nice. Oh, wow, we lost a lot of money in that process, but it was all for the good. The good of the system. Oh, wow, man. I can't believe how much that cost us to do this. Oh, well. We've got one hell of an expensive doohickey on the go here now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle all me... All me, uh sensors. Where's my uh, thermometer? It's actually a nice temperate 14.38 degrees out here so it's slowly heating up due to the sun and we can see Kirby in the distance in the, in the background so that's always fun. Alright we've done this mission so let's head on over to the space centre. Let's get rid of some trash shall we? Um, couple of two on an escape trajectory out some we'll remove that because we don't want to ever see that again so terminate and they can just all sit there I don't really care much about them right so what does that leave us now we can do Caballo 2 I guess but I think that's time for another episode it's only been a quick one to try and sort this one out but it's been enjoyable all the same I hope you have enjoyed this episode ladies and gentlemen if you have remember to leave a like if you haven't done so already hit the subscribe button I'll catch you all in a bit where we will be tackling um, not that one which mission are we going to be tackling next time? <gasps> Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting times indeed. So we could be doing Juno or we could be doing Vostok 2. I think we might do Vostok 2. Who knows? I'll catch you all in a bit, people. Peace out. <laughs>